Welcome to the Michigan Skier Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. view up here from Olympic Park overlooking the valley and as we do a quick panoramic view of all of Olympic Park just a little bit over there behind the trees is the ski jump this is all the stuff here for the freestyle pool over there is for the mogul jumps and the ski board uh, jumps over there and some other practice runs for ski jumping and other things. And beyond that is the luge and snow bo uh, bobsled run beyond the far uh, building there. So pretty cool setup here. And it's all set up for the uh, winter Olympians to train here year round all here just outside of Park City here in Utah. Holy crap. Ouch. Coach Alan Alborn, who is a former teammate of mine. And as she comes down the end run, she's going to be taking off at about 55 miles an hour. And as she flies down the landing hill, that's a great jump just past that 100 meter mark. So Sarah has, for a very long time, been the iconic figure for women's ski jumping, motivating and inspiring women's the next generation. Jumping. And we're so happy that she was able to join us tonight. So, nice round of applause for Sarah. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, this legacy is where, why I'm here today. It was in my backyard in 2002, and they did a great job um, keeping the youth programs alive. So I'm very thankful for this uh, facility and to train here um, year-round. And before the next jump, just, if you could just walk us through the reason that you were able to do these jumps and uh, having this wet and being able to land here and, and how it replicates what you'll experience as you start to compete in the season this year and then beyond. Yeah, so those white tracks up at the top uh, where we put our skis on is uh, porcelain and it acts just like ice. And then the huge green plastic landing is watered down and we kind of compare it to a slip and slide. Um, but it feels pretty much just like snow. We use all the same equipment so we can essentially train 11 months out of the year for ski jumping without having to go down south to chase snow. The world's greatest slip and slide. I love it. Sarah, thank you. Hang with us for a second, Bill. Let's introduce the next ski jumper. All right, so <clears throat> thank you, Sarah. Climbing out on the bar now, we have Kevin Fickner of Chicago, Illinois. Um, he is a member of the historic Norgie Ski Club and is the new and current uh, American record holder for ski jumping in a, a sub-discipline called Ski Flying, where he launched himself 244 meters. And as you can see, Kevin is well on his way down to that 120 meter mark, which is the point on the hill where the hill starts to flatten out. Kevin just joined us from his uh, training in Slovenia and uh, happy to have him out here to show you guys uh, what it's like to soar down that hill. As Kevin comes over, a round of applause for Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, welcome. I, I know you're a Midwest guy by birth here. We were just talking about uh, your opportunities to train overseas, but to come here and to be around other Olympians as well as you start to prepare for your season. Talk about how important, uh, not only this place, but the teammates and the others that you've been able to interact with. How important is that to you? I think it's huge. This has been a really exciting experience coming here and seeing uh, my future teammates for 2018 and going back these hills and training on it is, I think, really important. Can I ask you just a stupid guy on the couch question? Sure. How darn cool is that when you take off and you're flying? It's the greatest feeling in the world. Anything you can compare it to, anything that any of us could understand what it feels like, or the closest thing. Let's say we're doing a cannonball off, this, off the diving board going into the pool. Is there anything you can think of that feels something like it? 
Maybe if you had like a hundred fans underneath you when you did that cannonball. <laughs> that like a little that. more pressure. I like that. Bill, we have one more person here you want to introduce uh, to us here tonight. Absolutely. Uh, representing our Nordic combined team, we have Brian Fletcher. And Brian is uh, not only extremely talented at this sport of ski jumping, uh, but after the ski jumping competition, the Nordic combiners actually go out and do a race based on the jumping event. So Brian is one of four Americans to ever win the King's Cup. He has a world championship medal from 2013. And uh, he's uh, been a teammate of mine for uh, the Sochi Olympics. And he's our top ranked uh, Nordic combined athlete right now in the world standing. So Brian, thanks for flying back for something you to be with us tonight. Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, it's really exciting to be here. Um, unfortunately, I planned on taking a jump, but uh, my skis didn't quite make it uh, off the plane, so uh, here I am anyways. Well, we're <laughs> glad you're here anyways, and while, while you're here, let's take advantage for a moment to ask you a question. The challenges of training for the Nordic Combined. Uh, obviously, the training is so important. Every hour of training you can get for one discipline, but having to do with the Nordic Combined, how, do you able, how are you able to manage that time? Uh, it's pretty difficult. I mean, every time we train for cross country, we're taking away from the jumping side, and, and every time we're training the jumping side, we're taking away from the cross country. So it's all about a balance um, and really kind of taking a systematic approach and chipping away at both sides uh, almost at the same time. We've got to be jumping and training on the cross country side uh, equally. So it's a really uh, delicate balance, but uh, that's what makes the sport so much fun is uh, really mastering two polar opposite sports. Well, congratulations on your... <laughs> Alaska Nate and Brian Station. We got Devin Logan. Devin Logan, she's our uh, dual threat type and float style lift. Pretty cool. You want to go do that? Yeah, no thanks. No thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Get here with my wife. Yeah. yeah. Ask my prime to do that. Stuff. Maybe, maybe have a couple more glasses of this. Yeah. I'll tell you yes. Oh my God. That's Freestyle awesome. ski training right yeah, really? there. That's awesome. Next up, Troy Murphy. He's gonna be on the mobile side. He is the top ranked American athlete on the mobile side. He's known for the, the highest degree tricks for the mobile athletes. So he comes out to the water ramps and he shows them all up because this is where he shines. He's a great skier, but his, but his airs are really awesome.
Next up, we have Matt Cohan from Madison, Connecticut. I've known this kid for a very, very long time. Uh, he finished fifth in Sochi. Uh, he was the only male athlete in the U.S. that came to the games. Him and I spent a lot of time together over there. Um, but he's also the overall World Cup champion in 2015, alongside Ryan McKinnon, who is our last athlete up there. But um, he has landed nine real World Cup podiums, which is a lot. So hopefully get ten and shine another first world. Morgan Shields up next, and she's a, another mobile athlete on our team. She is also from Bristol, so the same town that Chris and John are from. Must be in the water over there. Um, she's coming back from a knee injury, but actually competed last year and crushed it, got two podiums. So she's been doing awesome and is really ready for this season. Super 